Okay. Okay. Yesterday, I'm riding back. We went up to the state house for a little get together. I saw David there and some other folk. You're going to hear from David. Um, and I turn to Jennifer. Jennifer is our community outreach leader for United Cape Patriots. So uh, she has to put up with me a lot, sometimes good, sometimes bad. And on the high note of yesterday, she announced she's reading an email. We've been working on adopting a highway along Route 6 to drive the moon bats crazy to get our sign up. And we have four segments of highway we're going to adopt, two miles each. Woo! So you're going to see UnitedKPatriots.com signage going up on Route 6, and they will lose their minds. We also talked about, you know, we're working all the issues about today, everything unraveling. I go, how'd this ever get started? I don't remember even planning this, this wedding. <laughs> and she reminded me, um, you, you might remember this if you're local, back after January 6th, they went after one of our local business owners, Nate Nickerson, who owns Arnold's in East Ham, just an icon. Nate Nickerson, like a lot of businesses on the Cape, he's only got a 12-week window to make his money. Other than that, it's closed, right? So they go after him because he posted a picture he was in the Capitol. They went after his family, his business. So we were working with Nate coming to our event. He probably wisely chose not to be here today. He donated some gift certificates, and we asked that you go out to Arnold's. It is, really is an icon and a wonderful place, and say hi to Nate uh, during the season. I think he's going to open next week. Uh, right, Jennifer? He's going to open next week? 21st. Look, someone knows. Good. He'll be open 21st. Moby Dix, another sponsor of ours, is opening uh, next week. Okay. Okay. Is, is Richard Hughes here? Yeah, Richard's here. He is? Richard's here? Okay. I want to introduce... Uh, Richard Hugis. Richard is a carpenter who moved to Falmouth 37 years ago to build sailboats. Richard is an author, an activist, and most recently founded Cape Cod Against Men Medical Mandates. And uh, we, uh, we support Richard, we stand with Richard. Uh, our position at United Cape Patriots with all the medical mandate stuff coming out of our government, okay? That's our freedom, our liberty, our God-given right, and it's a personal choice. That's where United Cape Patriots is at on this issue. Please welcome Richard. 